the silver lining to all of this crazy isolation and quarantining and social distancing and all of that is that I have been sewing like a maniac. So today, the day that I'm filming this, I have been at home alone, um, self-isolating for 25 days. I have barely left the house only to go to the food store. And when I go there, it's in, it's out. There's no like walking the aisles. It's like I have a list and I'm getting it and I'm leaving. So I've been home a lot and I've been very productive. So I have nine, <laughs> nine, no, 10, 10 projects to show you guys today. So enough chit chat, let me get into it. Some of the things you've seen, some of them you haven't. So just be prepared. Um, the first thing is the Nico top. Um, this, I made this for the Style Maker Fabrics Spring Style Tour. I, want, I wore it underneath the overalls, if you remember. Here it is in all its regular glory without the um, overalls underneath it. Uh, if you saw the pattern review video or the tour stop, um, I love this tank top and I don't know what has taken me so long to make this. There will definitely, definitely be more of them. And this rib knit that I used to make it is truly so nice. Like it feels like something you would buy in the store and it would be super, super expensive <laughs> because it feels so good. Like it's, it's a really nice um, rib knit. You can see it has a lot of stretch, but also a lot of recovery, stretch and recovery, which is so important in rib knits. And they don't all have that but it was super easy to work with and you can go watch that video if you want to hear all the details about my Nico top. Next up, okay, so this is lovingly being called my Lisa dress because this is the dress with the story about how I ran out of fabric and one of my followers on Instagram saved me and sent me some from her stash so that I could finish it. It is McCall's 7538 and here it is. This has not been on the channel finished yet, but here it is. I have filmed this dress um, in preparation for a pattern review. I have lots of thoughts about this and lots of things that I would do differently next time. So stay tuned for the full pattern review on this, but it's very flattering. I gotta admit the little crisscross um, is very like waist defining, which is really nice. Um, the fabric is a double brush Ponte that I got forever and ever ago from Cali Fabrics. Um, and it was kind of like a stash buster. Like I had a bunch of this left over and a little bit of this left over. And so I thought, well, let me just put those two together and see what happens. So this is kind of like a, kind of like a wearable muslin. It's kind of like free since I'd already had the fabric. Um, but I can't wait to tell you guys more about my Lisa dress. Um, and that'll be coming up soon, soon, soon on the channel. Okay, so <laughs> in the vein of being home a lot, I thought, you know what? I need to be making some more like comfy clothes just to wear around the house. So I took Simplicity 8016, um, which is this knit top pattern. And I basically took view A and just made the hem all one length to produce a cute little like house dress, nighty sleep dress thing from this fabric that I got at the clearance section at Joanne back when I lived in Charleston. So at least two, maybe longer. It was from the Nicole Miller line. Remember when they had that? That's where this fabric is from. Again, I did a little filming of this. Since I'm not leaving the house to film, modeling videos, you know, where I pay prance around and do all that silly stuff. I'm doing them on my patio just to kind of, you know, not risk going out and coming across people. I've been hearing horror stories about what the parks are like. And so I'm just like, let's just avoid all that. But because I'm doing it from the comfort of my own home, I thought I'll film myself in a nightgown. <laughs> like, sure, who cares? So I will be able to bring you guys a full pattern review with modeling um, on this little dress, but it is really comfortable. And um, it's like a rayon, kind of like rayon jersey maybe. So it's great. I've slept in it. I've worn it multiple days in a row <laughs> and it's been really nice. So 
Um, I do want to make another one and you'll hear more about that in my plans video. Um, out of another rayon jersey that I got at Joanne, but I do like how the top fits. So maybe I'll try out some of these like as it was intended tops as well. But yeah, so yeah, the pattern review will have all of the ways that I changed it, the length I ended up making it, you know, all that kind of good stuff. All right, so these are my closet case Jenny overalls. You guys saw these again in the Style Maker um, Spring Style Tour post. Obsessed. I can't wait for isolation to end, although it probably won't end until it's like too hot to wear these anymore. But um, I do love them. They're super comfortable. Um, they will get a lot of wear eventually. Um, and again, you can go check out that video. Links in the description box for all these videos that I've already posted. So go check those out. Same with this. These are my so House 7 Burn House Bibs. You guys saw these. Remember I posted them for St. Patrick's Day that never happened. Womp womp. But um, yeah, I already have a full pattern review on these as well. So you can see them on me. You can see my thoughts about the fabric and about the um, pattern. And as an update to that video, remember I was talking to you about how I thought they were too long? So I washed them again. So I pre-washed the fabric one time, then I made them, then I filmed the video and thought that the um, inseam was too long. But before I just went and hemmed them again, I thought, let me wash them one more time and see what happens. And I do feel like it pulled them up a little, little bit. I mean, not inches and inches or anything crazy like that, but I do feel like a little bit they're pulled up and I also wore them with different shoes, which I think helped a lot too. So as an update, I don't think they're too long anymore. <laughs> anymore. That's a long way of saying that, but there's that. Okay, so my style for this year, so or for this month, and I made the gelato blouse out of a Swiss dot, a mint green Swiss dot, I might add. So I made view A that has the ruffles on the sleeve and the ruffles on the hem. It also has a back button placket and just prepare yourselves. Little flowery rose buttons. <laughs> Aren't those so cute? Um, so yeah, this is definitely, you know, I'm using all stash fabrics for so my style. And so this is something that was buried deep in the stash. I don't even know where I got it, but I didn't get it done in time, but I do have a little bit of it left over and I want to make a matching headband using my Cricut. Um, I told you guys about, I get, there's a whole tutorial on how to make these kind of like twisty knot headbands and all of that. I'll put it in the description box so you can find that video, but I'm going to use that to cut out my Cricut. And now that I already have all the work done, all the cutting lines, um, established in design space, I can just literally slap the fabric on a mat and send the mat through my machine and it does everything for me. There's like literally no work at all. So anyway, so yeah, I thought that turned out really, really cute. I don't have modeling pictures of this just yet, but I will and it will be on the channel just like my Lisa dress. Okay, that's all the clothing. Um, one thing you've already seen is my Cricut Maker machine cover and tool caddy. I did a whole video on this a couple of weeks ago. So you guys can go check that out, but it has like cute little pockets on the side. I put a little maker decal. Like I said in the video, I really want it. I, now that I'm, now that it's all sewn, I wish I would have put the maker right here and then put a handle up here to lift it up. Um, but that's okay. It's still really cute and covers my maker, keeps it dust free. Uh, link in the description box for this video. And then something you haven't seen is I are, I also started working on regular machine covers and I'm using this pattern, the It's So Easy by Simplicity. Um, what number is that? E2106, that's not gonna be right. E2106, I guess that's right. I've never seen an E before. Why am I out of breath? <laughs> I get very excited about the things I've made, especially when it's a very productive month. Okay, so I use this to uh, make a sewing machine cover. I also made the little caddy, um, but I have it all cut out, but I haven't actually sewn that one yet. I started with my serger. So this is my serger machine cover. <laughs> Isn't that so 
so stinking cute. All of these fabrics, again, came from my stash. Same thing with the Cricut um, cover. All of that I already had. I had a lot of like little cuts of cotton fabric. And so that's what I used to make these. And this is what the backs looks like. And then the inside is just some ugly fabric that I hated, but I knew I would never see. So I have, this is my cover stitch. So it says stitch. And then I have one that for my serger that says serge and my sewing machine that says sew. <laughs> but yeah, so that's really fun. And drum roll, please. I wanna hear everybody drum rolling on your lap or on your table or wherever you are because the trench coat is done. I cannot believe I'm able to show this to you guys, but look, here she is with her buttons and all. You can't really see, she's not tall enough. Here, let me lift, oh good, she just came right off. So here she is. This was a two and a half year, almost three year labor of love. And I'm just so, so happy that we're done. I probably won't get to wear her until like September or October because I think the window has passed for a coat of this weight. But, um, but yeah, she's totally done. I'll get her um, videoed and do like a full pattern review so you guys can see. But anyways, so there are my 10 makes from March. I haven't made that many things in one month in a very long time, in a very, very long time. And stay tuned for my makes video or my plans video because I have a lot of things planned um, as well. Some really fun things, some challenging things. I, I took on some challenges this month with the, um, she's getting really heavy, um, with the, uh, both of those jumpsuit patterns, the overalls and the bibs. And I'm kind of elaborating on that a little bit. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Like all month long, I've noticed a huge uptick in views and comments and people just engaging. And I get why, like, it's not lost on me that, you know, we're all looking for an escape. I just, I'm happy that you guys choose me to be your escape. And I will continue to be a place where you guys can come for happiness and lightness and fun and creativity um, for as long as you'll let me. So um, let me know in the comment section below something you made this month that you're really, really proud of, whether it's like your trench coats like me that you've been working on forever and ever, or if you finally tackled um, some kind of garment that you've never sewn before or never been successful sewing before, like pants were for me. But that's going to do it for me today. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all very soon. Bye!